Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Dinesh. We are back at AGM, baby. So today is going to be a DIY day. We're going to be working on the E46. She's getting pulled up and getting onto the lift. So let's go on in, open up the bonnet and look at the process so that you guys can work on your E46. It's I haven't done this before myself, so this is the first time I'm doing so you can see how easy or how hard it is. And if you feel like you can do it, go ahead and give it a shot. So let's go on in. Hi, the car is on the lift now. Before we start working on the car, we're going to check out what are the consumables that we're going to change out in the car. So head, let's head on to the parts table right here. All right, first, we're going to start with the oil. So I got a Shell Helix Ultra 5W40, but we need to check a few things before we pick up the oil, depending on the temperature that you're going to be driving your car in. If you're in a colder place, it's better recommended to go for a 0W30, but that comes in a mobile one. It does it, there's no shell for that. But then for every oil that you get, what you need to check is that there is a BMW LL01. That is BMW Long Life 01. That is recommended for each of the M54 engines. For most of the E46, that's what applies. So we're gonna be changing the oil and then we're gonna be changing the oil filter as well. And this is a combo that I got off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys for everything that I'm using here so that it's an easy, it's easy to locate for you guys. So this is a combo of two. So we're gonna be changing the oil filter as well. And then we're gonna be changing the air filter. Normally you get an air filter in the same brand, man filter, but then I'm going for the KNN because of its durability and it lasts really long. This has, I think, a 10 year durability on this, but obviously it's gonna break down, but you can always clean it up and reuse it. Whereas the man filter cannot be reused again. And then finally, we're gonna, change out the spark plugs. These are NGK spark plugs. So we're gonna, we have six in this pack. We're gonna change them out. Inline six, six spark plugs. So we're gonna first do the oil and the filter changes. And if we have enough time, we're gonna go ahead and change the spark plugs too. So let's get on with it. Let's pull the car up, open the bonnet, and let's start working on it. All right, let's open this up. Guys, don't judge me. My engine bay is a little bit dirty. We just cleared out an ant family from the rear end of the car and that was intense. Just opened the back, uh, indicator lights out. There was like a family inside. So we had to clear that out. We just cleaned that out. So next, we probably after we finish this, we can give this a full clean. So first, we're gonna start with the air filter. So the air filter is pretty easy to uh, remove. So there are four clips around securing this box and it is connect to, connected to this inlet here and it's connected to this tubing over here. So first we pop out the four clips. There we go. One, two, three. And the most important one, you gotta be really careful. This one is deep in here. So obviously you did run your engine a little bit so that you are able to clean the oil more easier. So be careful, probably use a tool if possible. Hold on, let me get a tool. So it's better to use a screwdriver or some sort of a wrench so that you don't burn your hands. So that is out right there. That's good. So you don't need to remove, actually you don't need to remove any of these, but if you want to clean it out, you might as well remove it. But for our purpose, we're just going to remove this. And there you go. You have the rubber filter here. Rubber? Or paper? Rubber filter. So, I don't know how old this is. Made in Austria. It's okay, it's 2019, so probably a couple of years old. But still, let's replace this with the k &N air filter and that's gonna improve the cold airflow. So k &N filter comes with a few things. We have the air filter right here and there is a gasket supposedly for the box so we're gonna be we're gonna have to remove the box out of the car we can't just install the filter you get a sticker and you get a set of instructions so first 
Let's go remove the air filter box and then we'll find out where to put this gasket and then install the filter in. First, we got to remove this uh, air intake right here and then we got to disconnect from this. So this is pretty easy. You just yank it out. It's going to come out. And for this one, there are two clips right here. So I'm going to remove it and I'm going to show you guys. All right, there we go. So there's these two clips holding the mass airflow sensor right here. So you just unclip and it pops right out. So, do you think it needs a clean inside? I don't think so, it's okay, right? It's pretty sorted. So, we're gonna put the gasket onto this so that the filter sticks in. I call it. It's always better to clean out the inside first so that the gasket sticks in really well. So, the adhesive part goes into the air box. So, I'm just gonna pull this off. Sticks in, 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 done. Gasket's in, now we pop the air filter back inside and then we just seat it back together, that's it. That's it, you just place the filter back in, sits nice and snug, we have the gasket sorted out. Let's move the sensor. Lock it in. Then finally, the air intake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Done, solid. All right guys, next, oil change. So first we're gonna have to remove the oil filter right here. So this is a 36 mm hex nut. And come check this out. So we have a full-fledged garage right here. And a normal garage has till 32. Somehow we made it and found a 36. I think they use this on trucks maybe, I'm not sure. It's like BMW, you know. They have to be out of the box. So we're gonna break this out, change the oil filter first. So let's give it a shot. All right. Sure, you're gonna wear a pair of safety gloves because the oil is gonna be hot inside. So it's out. All right. Filter comes out. We have the new oil filter and. When you get the new oil filter, always make sure you get it with a new O-ring. So we're going to change the O-ring also. Every time you change the filter, it's always advisable to change the O-ring also with it. So the O-ring's like normally hard to get out, so it's safer to use a screwdriver. All right. There we go, done. Clean this out. New o ring. Done. Sorted. So now before we put the filter back in, we're going to drain all the oil out. So get all the old oil out and then we're going to put the filter back in and fill it up with new oil. New Shell Helix Ultra. Now the drain plug. So this is a 17mm hex nut. Yeah. Right. There we go. And then you can use your fingers to loosen up. The drain plug, place the oil pan. Ah, yeah. Lucky it's not hot, it's not smoking hot. It's just a little bit warm, it's all right. So this drain plug has a bolt also with it and there's a washer with it. So when you buy the man filter, you get a spare washer also. So remember to replace that when you finish with your drain. Old washer out, 
new washer in. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, plug it back in, and we're done with the drain. So normally there is a Torx pack, but you can just hand tighten it. It's pretty much okay. It's gonna sit in pretty well. All right, drain done. Put the filter back in. Just go straight in, sits in, sorted. Cars back down. So time to fit the oil filter in. So before you put it in, it's always best to take some oil and spread it around the O-rings right here so that it seals in really good and tight. Good and tight. It's like a German language for a German car. All right, spin in. Right now, we just have to top the oil off and we're all done with the oil change. We drained it, we just top it off. So this is a four liter can. So the uh, E46 normally takes around 6.5 liters or seven quarts to be exact. So we're gonna fill this up, fill up the four and then we're gonna slowly monitor the marking and fill up the next. So yeah, here's a quick tip to open your oil uh, mug. There we go. Remove all the other nonsense out. You're good. The quick tip that I just learned. So it's always better to keep the oil can like this, horizontal to the engine, so that the oil doesn't come gushing out and it's a smooth flow of oil out of the can. All right, all done guys. Just gonna wipe it up. So 6.5 liters, you guys need to remember 6.5 liters. So we're gonna pull out the dipstick. So normally you need to keep an eye on this. This is the low end. This is the maximum end. Go in bro. Let's sit for a second. All right, it's just right at the max line. So 6.5 liters, perfect. That's 6.9 quarts, done. Close it up. So oil change is done guys. So when we do the oil change, when you do a basic maintenance, you change the filter, air filter, the oil filter, oil change. And you also do one more thing you then change out the cabin filter. But I didn't get one at this moment, but this seems pretty fine. This is a charcoal filter. So this looks pretty fine, but in the next video, next upcoming video for uh, E46 maintenance, I'll do that also to show you guys how a newer one looks. So you'll be able to compare it a little bit. So this also is in the same process. You dismantle and set up, you just have to twist this and it's locked in. Just press it in, twist it. Done. Press it in, twist it. Done. That's done right there. So now we can start the car up and see how it sounds. Sick. I mean, it's not going to make much of a difference, but I feel like it sounds a little bit better. And the engine light is gone. There was a check engine light before and now it's gone. So I guess it is the oil change that was the issue. So BMW recommends 1500 kilometers between oil changes, but I had it only like around 8,000 kilometers from my previous oil change, but it still popped up. So I had a bit of a question in my mind. So that's why I went ahead and did this oil change. Now the light is gone and we are sorted. All right guys, now all that is done. You have a final process is to replace the spark plugs right here. So for that, ideally we'll have to remove this 
and the uh, cabin filter right here so that we can access the bowl that is inside. So first we're gonna try removing this. So this is gonna be pretty simple. Pops out right here, filter pops out. And then you have four inside that we need to remove to pull this out. So once we remove the 30 uh, torque screw there, we have to remove the four. And then after that, just pop these out. So always be careful guys, these are plastic pieces, so they tend to break. All right, there we go, this is out. Okay. Just remove the rubber. It right out. So I'm gonna clean this up next. So next we're just going to have to remove both these plates. So they're 10 mm hex. So once it's out, you can go ahead and pull out the covers. So obviously there's no plugs here. All the plugs are on this end, but you need to remove this plate to remove this plate. All right, so. To remove this, obviously you need to remove the oil cap. Pull it out, pull out the plates, and always remember to close it back in. We don't want moisture going into it. So that is there. So we have the six in a straight line right here. So I don't think the str uh, strut bar is gonna cause any sort of a disturbance. So I'm gonna show you guys how to pull this out and how to change the coils inside. Normally for American cars and European cars, there's a difference in how the coils are put into the engine. So this is very simple. Some of them have some uh, nuts here locking them in, but this, all you have to do is pull this up, pull this out, hold this circle right here, put it in and yank, that's it. So there comes out your ignition coil. So we have a 16 mm hex and we put it on extended bar. Let's pull it out. So there are a couple of ways you can take it out. So if you don't have the socket right here, so the spark plug comes out. If you don't have the socket, what you can do is you can use a magnetic strip. So you can just put this in and it has a needle front. So you'll just grab it and pull the spark plug out. It's shaking so much, so. So the first one is out. I'm gonna lay it down here. And this is the new one right here. So this is a little bit different. That's got a one, one tip edge. It's got a four tip edge, but this is gonna probably upgrade the performance. Let's see. And you just pop it back in, tighten it up. You are sorted. So multiple people do it different ways. They either take out all six and then put all six new in, but I don't want the wiring to get, I don't want me to get confused with the wiring. So. I'm gonna do it individually. It might take a bit longer time, but you know, it's fun. It's fun wrenching. We just, the same process, we change all six, and then we go back, repeat everything that we did until now. So, first remove the oil cap. Put the cover back in. So this goes in first because this comes right under that one. So this comes in first. So finally, the cabin filter mechanism goes back into place. You put the two wires that you took out of the plastic casing here and then you just lock it back up. And then take the 10. Aye. Ten. Tighten it out. And we're all done. All done guys. So that's it. The basic maintenance. Yes, it took us quite a few hours to do it, but you keep doing it. I'm sure you can hit it out probably in a couple of hours maximum. You don't need so much fancy tools, I guess, except for the lift that you'll need. Otherwise, I'm sure you can just have your basic home tools that you can work on your car with. So now let's start this car up and go ahead and close the vlog.
All done guys. So that was the basic maintenance for your BMW E46. There's one last that we need to finish up. Yeah. All done. So we completed a full basic maintenance schedule. So we started with the oil change, we drained it, we changed the air filter, changed the oil filter, we even changed the spark plugs. The only thing that was left was the cabin filter. But that we'll do in a following video. So right now, everyone's headed out of the shop, so we also got a bounce. But if you liked today's video, smash the like button, you guys. And if you learned anything and it worked on your car, or again, smash the like button and let me know down in the comments how it worked out for your car. There's a lot more content coming up on the E46 and on the dock. So I'm going to do a bit more, a few more mods on this E46. And I want you guys all to learn from it and give it a shot with your car. As you've seen me, I was pretty lazy. I was not working on my cars myself. But now I'm giving it a shot. Well, mainly because I don't want to pay too much labor. But check this out. Check out this sick drift ride. Pretty intense. Nice Acura skyline. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash this smash the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So till the next time, peace.